Hey family and YouTube friends. It's been a busy, busy week. And I have been doing some things to still prepare my van, of course, for the upcoming trip. I've been taking some smaller trips and I've also been doing a lot of work, nonprofit work with my mom. And of course, I have no problem doing that because it's my mom and she's been serving the community and so many people for so long. So whatever I can do to help, I'm more than happy to do it. But you know what? Just because it's nonprofit work does not mean it does not keep you busy. So this week has been so crazy. But I'm here to remind you, no matter how busy the week is, whether it's nonprofit work or whether it's your job, whatever it is, let's always find me time. So I had to find some relaxation in the midst of this very, very busy week. And I'm still in the city, but believe me, because I was able to escape the city a little bit. While the city is fine, oh, there's nothing like being able to get away and really get some great fresh air. But while in the city, you know I'm always going to find some water and a beautiful place to enjoy and relax. So I'm out enjoying myself, walking barefoot on the grass, and getting a little grounding in. Yep, always good. Well, I believe I have passed the test. I have for weeks now been going out in my van spending days spending the night in the southern states more specifically louisiana and mississippi and i've done this because this time around i decided i was not going to cut any holes in my van no roof vent um i wasn't going to cut any windows in the back i haven't even put the 30 amp plug inlet the 30 amp plug in yet I'm going to test and see if I can use my extension cord and just basically drop it through a section that's at the rear of the van that goes out the bottom I'm trying everything I can to preserve this van and keep it in its original form because I'm being very realistic about this I had another van decided it was a little too big and too tall. I went to the minivan. While it was great on gas mileage, I felt like I was a little too cramped. I wanted more room to spread out and stretch. So now I'm in the mid roof. But who knows, I may change my mind another time too. I may decide to just go back down to some type of minivan or SUV one day for my road trip needs. Or maybe I will keep this van. What I'm saying is no matter what I decide, I want to have it in its original form because if I decide to sell it, then it'll be much more valuable that way. I learned that the hard way with the first van. I did okay with it, but the fact that I had cut holes in it, mm, devalued it a little bit. So I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. So that's why I'm being very careful. And I needed to know that as I go out on the road, will I be able to handle not having the roof vent or the side windows? And I've done just fine. This is only the second summer in the years that I've been traveling that I've done something on the road like this. My first year and then after that, all of the other times was either spring or winter, spring or fall. I was not going out during the summer because it was so hot. But this time I'm going to the Upper Peninsula, Canada, and hopefully we get all the way to Alaska, which is the plan. So, hey, that means that it will only get cooler <laughs> going north. So if I can be down here in the southern states in the mid 80s currently with humidity, with bugs and all of that. I think I'll do okay as I go further up. So that's the test um, I was giving myself. And I've been great. Um, 
you know, I have my two vents for the front windows. And when I open my side door, I get all types of air because I have my screen up to keep the bugs out. So I've passed the test. Okay, before someone mentions that we are not in the heart of summer yet, I know that. But what I'm hoping is that the farther north I go, the more it will be kind of comparable to what I'm dealing with now, which is mid 80s with humidity. If, if I'm lucky, we won't have the humidity up north, but down here, we definitely have humidity. Mid 80s, humidity, I'm hoping that's how it's gonna be feeling further north. So if that's the case, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. And if it's cooler, even better. All right, but it is much harder to boondock down here now. Um, it's getting a, you know a lot more crowded and little critters are out more now. And I don't, uh, in one of my videos, <laughs> I talk about how I do whatever I can to avoid tornadoes, right? 30 degree weather when I'm out here and snakes. I don't do those. So whenever the weather is conducive for all of the creepy crawlies to be out in abundance, I tend to be careful about where I try to boondock. So yeah, I passed the test. And uh, I guess I'll be showing you soon how I'm going to maybe try to figure out how to do the electric situation for when I am at an RV park or a state park and how I can plug into their electricity. I don't know if it's gonna be as simple as having the extension card closed in, you know, through the back door. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I think I have a little cubby in here that goes to a little opening at the bottom of the van. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm trying everything I can to make this time out as minimal as possible and without cutting any holes or altering the van in any way. I'm really trying my best to do that. So let's hope I, I can succeed. Well, I found a roll of Reflectix and I am going to see if I can get it to fit my front window. Even if I buy some other shades to go on my window up front, having the Reflectix behind it will really help block the sun. Okay, I think I figured out that I'm going to be able to just put my cord out of my back door. I'm trying everything in my power to not have to put holes in this van. I'm trying everything and I think I figured it out. So this is the extension cord. This is the part that's going to be out the back door when I close it. We're going to test that in a minute. But I have all of my cards set up. I wanted to make sure that everything was working properly. And it is because I have the AC 180 Blue Eddy. It's 1800 watts, 1152 watt hours. So I'm thinking by charging it while I'm driving, because it's going to be, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, see my 12 volt, volt plug? It's right in the back of the van. So the entire time that I'm driving, I will have my Blue Eddy charged in, plugged in to the 12 volt getting charged. And when I'm at an RV park or campground, I'm gonna have my extension cord out the back door, plugged in to my surge protection charge just in case I want to plug some other things in but I can just uh, plug right into that and I'm in business so that's how I'm going to do it no holes this time I'm going to keep it simple okay here's the test let's see if the door will truly close it worked the back door closed with the cord out the back and just in case I have issues on the road, I'm gonna bring an extra cord with me because this system is working and I don't have to put a hole in my van. It worked. The cord is out the back door. Well, a part of my curtain too, I gotta fix that. <laughs>
but it worked and I don't have to put a hole in the van. I'm either even going to bring an extra cord with me to make sure that if I run into any problems closing this door on this cord, I'll have an extra one. Wow, whenever I'm in nature, I'm always rejuvenated. I'm always rejuvenated. It's such a great feeling. This is for those who I know who are at home right now. Maybe the job has you tied there for a minute. Maybe you're recovering from a surgery. I've been through that. I had a knee surgery and I couldn't get out the way I wanted to and I just rode along, watched the video, and took a ride along with the person. Just imagine that I was out there enjoying nature. This is for that person. Because I know there's someone who loves just seeing the open road. You might not be able to do it right now, but soon enough, you're going to have the freedom to do it for yourself. Or maybe you're recovering or you're going through something and you just love being able to see the open road. This is for you. It may not be for everyone, but I was that person. That's why I know 
that this is helping someone. So I just love it. I'm just out enjoying nature, having a great time, getting rejuvenated. And there's actually another reason, something else I can do while I'm out in this area. And um, it's kind of personal and I'm just gonna let you in on it, but yeah. I'm having a wonderful time. Well, because I know I'm going to be traveling when it's Father's Day, I was hoping to get to my dad's gravesite to refresh refresh the flowers now. But I think those plans Oh boy. I think the truck that's trying to go through is too tall and they have to cut down some of the limbs. Oh, this is crazy. But this high vehicle, he's hitting lines all the way down the road. <gasps> he almost took these people's signal out. I thought he was gonna tear the line down. You probably can't see it in the camera, but oh my goodness, I thought he was gonna tear it down. Anyway, we have a slow movement, y'all. Look at the beautiful look. That's why I'm partly not mad that we're like creeping behind this man. Because as we're going, I'm just loving the view. It is so beautiful. Oh yeah, all through here is just beautiful. But I see why he's going so slow. His vehicle is, whatever that load is, it's too tall to go through here. Well, I was able to make it. And I brought dad his flowers, so it worked out. Now that I definitely have the electrical situation figured out. Oh, you see my butterflies on the table. The heat was starting to make them come off the wall a little bit. So I moved my butterflies to the table. But uh, this is the setup I'm definitely going to go with. My big question mark was trying to figure out what I was going to do with the electrical. But now that I have that figured out with the extension cord going out the back, I'll be fine. I even put another little shelf in the back to put more stuff on if I need it. So I have all of the space I need. I can keep it really minimal and I will be just fine. So I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to go with. I'm really happy with it. The only two things for me to set up will be my sink situation and whether or not I want to put Reflectix up on the ceiling. But that's really, that's the only thing that's left. Everything else, all I have to do is insert clothes for the extended trip and insert food. Okay, family and friends, you know the drill. Be blessed and be safe. Bye.